How's it going YouTube? Welcome to the channel. It's been a very long time since I made a video. If you've seen my other videos, you already know I'm a diehard car guy, but something that you might not know, I'm actually a diehard model train guy. So this entire channel is going to be dedicated to my love of the hobby and I hope you guys really enjoy it. So I couldn't really make this channel without first talking about my grandfather, the guy that got me into the hobby in the first place. So just picture it, the year's 1948, it's almost Christmas time, and all you've been seeing in the department store windows was that Lionel train set running around. And all you've wanted all year, same with every other boy in America, you wanted a Lionel train set. So you made sure you were extra good that year and you made sure that you put that on the top of your Christmas list. So you come running downstairs, and you see your nice brand new Lionel train set running around the Christmas tree. And it's just something that you never forget. So let's fast forward a little bit. It's 1974. My grandparents just bought a new house. But there's one problem with this house. There's no basement and there's no extra room. So where do you build your dream layout? You have no choice but to build it in the attic. And as you can clearly see here, my grandfather didn't let that stand in his way. This layout was about 10 feet by 15 feet, and that's just a rough guess. It was probably even larger than that. But sadly, this layout was never completed. The lack of space to gain access to the opposite side. The winters and summers were so brutal up there, you couldn't even breathe half the time. So the layout sat for many years. My uncle came to visit around 2012, and we operated it one final time before tearing it down very shortly after. So let's skip ahead to the present day. Finally got my own place late last year, and there was a spare bedroom. It's not exactly the biggest room, it's not exactly an ideal place to put a layout, but I made it work, because, you know, every guy's entitled to have his man cave, right? And here's what we've got so far. Still very much under construction, there's still a lot that needs to be done before it's perfect. But for right now, I'm very impressed with how much I was actually able to squeeze onto this in such a small area. And the only way that I could accomplish putting a good amount of track on here, something I've always wanted to do, was punch a hole through the wall and have the train run through the closet. Something I was never able to do years ago, but now it's my own place. And it works just perfect. So let's start from the very beginning in 1948. This would have been my grandfather's very first locomotive, number 2025. These were produced between 1947 and 1952. This is not the exact same one that he had. His original one is actually sitting on my uncle's desk at his job. But this one, I made sure that this thing was done right. I fully restored this engine from top to bottom. Cleaned the whole motor, polished up the wheels, polished up the drive rods, put all new decals on the front, converted the smoke. Back in the day, these would have came with little wax pellets that produced smoke but I converted it to use regular smoke fluid, the oil. And it comes with a whistle tender. This is not the same set that it would have came with, but I tried to recreate a period correct set, specifically for this video. So powering my layout, I have this Lionel model ZW transformer. 275 watts, 115 volts. This is more than enough to run this. So you could run up to four trains on this. This one operates the lower level. This one operates my upper level. And these two levers here, I have powering the accessories. Some of the buildings have lights in them, and I also have some accessories that are not yet wired up. So enough of me talking. Let's fire this up, let the smoker get nice and hot, and show you how good a 73-year-old train set could still run.
and there you have it. 73 years old, still runs exactly like it was brand new. Most of the time on these, all they ever need is motor brushes and a little grease and oil. That's all you got to do with these, and they will last you a lifetime. Well, I hope you guys liked this first video that I made. There's plenty more to come as I do more work to this layout, and I got plenty more stuff here to show you. So, if you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.